Hey, Dave. Um, Chris Taylor is not in the lineup again tonight. How was his neck feeling? And was it just that you wanted to give him an extra day off? Uh, it, it's a uh, slight improvement. Um, it, it just impedes his swing, um, the running, all of it. So um, we'll stay away from him again today. Excuse me. And um, I, I just don't know when uh, his return to play is, but slight improvement. Um, we're going to hold off on an IO situation in hopes that uh, over the next couple of days, it just gets, uh, uh, there's impro improvement. And with Max Scherzer, he's six strikeouts away from 3,000. What can you just say about just what it, it, what it means to achieve that in your career? Um, it, it's uh, obviously consistency, consistent uh, elite performance, um, being healthy, taking, taking the baseball. Um, so I know that for him, for his family, it's something that, is uh, highly anticipated, they're excited about, and they should be. Um, but that's going to be one part of it. I think there's going to be a moment, and we expect it to happen. But uh, his sole purpose is to go out there and, and help us win a ball game. But I think, you know, overall, the scope, it's just quite the accomplishment. Thank you, Dave. Next question is from Dave Essay. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, with um, obviously Taylor's situation, you have Mookie in center. Is that, in regards to Mookie, um, a great, I guess, signal that his hip is no longer an issue at this point in time for him to be able to cover that type of ground out there? It, it is. It is. And, and that's a good thing for Mookie, for the Dodgers. Um, talked to Mookie a couple of days ago. And obviously, you know, with AJ and uh, just kind of the dynamics of the outfield, he was – really open to playing center field uh, at times. Um, so, yeah, this is one of those situations and um, expect him back in right field tomorrow once Cody gets back in here. Um, but, yeah, it, it's just a credit to Mookie just being open to help the ball club. Dave, as far as Lux goes, for him to have that type of game offensively, um, did you feel like that was important for him moving forward because of uh, what you need from him offensively? I, I think so. Um, you know, you can always talk about uh, process and, and Gavin going down and trying to clean some things up, you know, clear his head, get some at bats, come back here. And obviously I think it just really is helpful when you can come back and uh, get a couple knocks and, and help the team win, win a ball game. And so it just leads to the confidence. And uh, so to get him back out here today, um, and it's certainly going to be a tough matchup in Snell, but, you know, the ask is go out there and play good defense and uh, put some at-bats together um, and uh, just keep going. And so really proud of Gavin, the way he's handled the last couple of weeks. Next question is from Juan Toribio. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, it looks like Kenley uh, tweeted that he welcomed a, a baby girl. Have you kind of talked to him? And if, do you think he, he might go on the paternity uh, list or anything like that? Yes, yes. Uh, congratulations to uh, Kenley and Johnny and the Jansen family. Um, so I, I know they're excited, healthy baby girl. Um, so he'll be on paternity. Uh, we're going to have uh, Mitchell White for the next couple of days. And Kenley, uh, the expectation is he'll be back on Tuesday with us. Um, so that's kind of where we're at and great thing for the Jansen family. <clears throat> Thank you, Dave. Next question is from Mike DiGiovanna, go ahead. Dave, I was gonna ask about Kenley too, but I'm just curious, did he, they induce, did he time this right after he's been on three straight games? <laughs> I think that uh, Johnny and, and Kenley have been around so long, they kind of timed it out. So uh, it, it worked out. No, I, I think that it was either going to be today or tomorrow. And so it just really worked out. Who's your closer today? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Um, I, I think it's just more of putting guys in the best position to, uh, 
get guys out. So uh, whoever it is, I, I know that uh, Blake, we're going to stay away from Blake and Kenley's not here. So we've got a lot of good options. What's been your perception of Gavin in left field? I know it's a, a tough thing for a guy at this level to do, but uh, do you feel like you're asking a lot of them to play out there? Um, we are. Yeah. Um, but it, it's easy to bet on, on the baseball player, the athlete, um, and the, the baseball season is very unpredictable. And I can't say that I would have envisioned this, but this is where we're at. And, um, I feel he gives the best chance to win, uh, when he's out there. And, um, so tonight, uh, last night I felt good about it and he's going to only get better with more reps. Last one's from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, Dave. Unusual to see Will uh, in the lineup day game after catching the night game. What uh, prompted that? Um, I, I just felt that the first two nights uh, here, uh, mild weather, um, uh, certainly a six o'clock game, then a, which was, you know, not much workload for Will. Uh, playing today, he'll be down tomorrow. Then he can play two against Arizona and have another off day. So um, against these guys, I just wanted him in there for three games. And part of that uh, kind of working backwards from wanting Austin to catch the Kershaw tomorrow? It, it's just, it just, when I looked at it all, it just seemed like it just all made sense. And for Clayton to come back and have somebody he's familiar with made sense as well. And you mentioned that... Uh, Chris Taylor's neck injury is impeding his swing. How far back are we looking at? And could it be a factor in the slump that he's in? I, I would, I know Chris would never say that, but I think we're, you know, I, my guess is it's a week to 10 days back.